All right, the second activity that we did today was making an electromagnet. So what I have is a piece of wire. It's copper wire that's covered in a protective coating. I have an iron nail, the whole thing in there, and I have a battery. And here in just a bit, I'll have some paper clips also, but this is the main thing that counts. So we're gonna read the directions and go through each individual part. Very first thing it says to do, leaving a two to three inch tail of wire at the beginning, so about as long as my thumb, so about this long. Wrap your wire around the nail as many times as you like. So I'm gonna go 12 times, I think that's a nice round number, so I'm just gonna go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, oh, I need some more space, 10, 11, 12. Okay, so here's my wire. Let me try and get it into place so I can lay it down and you can see the whole thing. Okay, so here's my wire. I've got it wrapped 12 times around the nail. The coils are not overlapping, um, but it is covering most of the nail right here. Then it says number two, on your half sheet, draw your wire wrap nail for number one. Be sure to leave space to add the battery to your diagram. So I'm gonna show you my paper. Here is my lovely diagram. That is my wire wrap nail. You can see it's got 12 coils on it if you really wanted to stop and count. And then, so here's the bare ends of my wire. Next, carefully hold one end of your wire to the positive side of your battery and the other end to the negative side. Once the battery is connected, you have an electromagnet. Use either the flat or pointed ends of the nail or both to try and pick up as many paper clips as you can. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna go ahead and scatter a few paper clips out just so that they're already there. So I'm gonna take my wire, here's my battery. I'm gonna put this in, I'm just gonna hold it on here. You can do this with a holder as well, but this is just easier for me. And I'm gonna make sure that my metal is touching metal and I'm holding it onto the battery. Okay, so here's my magnet, and I'm going to use that and pick up as many paper clips as I can. I could try and set some on there. If you touch it and then try and take the paper clip away, you can feel that little bit of force trying to hold the paper clip on, but it's not quite strong enough to actually hold them. Some people were getting really, really good results with this today. Mine is less than stellar. So let's see if I can put another, oh, there we go. One on there. That's four. I got five. Oh, this is a stronger side. Oh no, I knocked them off. So we just put, trying to pick up as many as I can. Sometimes you can get them to pick up in a string. Sometimes it's just one big bunch, but as many as you can. I think I got up to five on there at some point. All right, so I'm gonna take those off to set my battery down and I'm going to just leave that there for now. Then in the directions it says on your half sheet add the battery to your diagram. So I'm going to show you here I've added my battery in. I had the positive toward the flat side or the head of the nail. I had the negative end of my battery um, toward the pointy side. Okay so then I'm going to just answer the questions. Okay, it says, how many loops did you make around your nail? And I counted while I was doing it. If you didn't, um, you just would need to count your loops. So I made 12. How many paper clips were you able to pick up? Okay, I got, let's say I got five. I had some people that were able to get 20 and 30. Um, three or four, maybe five is about the regular, the normal amount. Now this last question is the important one. How could you make your magnet stronger? And if you remember on um, yesterday's homework page, the magnets page, on the front side where it gives the information, it talked about electromagnets. And there's several different ways to make our magnet stronger, okay? First, I can add more current, okay? And it says explain your answer, so I'm gonna add my explanation afterwards. Add more current. Stronger electric field 
makes a stronger remember that magnetic field. Okay, so the stronger the electric field is going through the wire, the stronger your magnetic field is going to be, which means that you're going to have a stronger magnet. Um, the second thing that we could do with our materials is to, number two, add more coils. So I could take this wire that's still sticking off and I could wrap it around more times. So I can wrap it. I got four more there and I can get three, four, five, six, I got six, seven more. I could wrap it a whole lot more, okay, and add a whole lot more wire onto my nail, okay. Add more coils. Why does that make the magnet stronger? Well, because now every piece of that wire has current running through it. So the more current I have, okay, just like I said here, the more current I have, the stronger my magnetic field is going to be. So if I add more coils, even with the same amount of voltage coming from that same battery, more coils around my nail means that more current is attaching to that space right there. Pardon the bell. So add more coils. This strengthens the electric field. Okay. Now on your homework from yesterday, it also talks about adding a ferrous core. Ferrous is, um, means a metal that is related to iron, but we already have a core. Okay. We could add maybe a thicker core. Okay, something that was um, more solid or wider or something like that. And that could potentially strengthen our magnet as well. Um, but since we already have a ferrous core, this is an iron nail, that's not really um, a feasible option for making our magnet any stronger. So that's it. That's all we did today. Go ahead and if you were in class, finish up anything that you were not able to finish during class time. If you were not in class today, um, take the opportunity, make sure that you understand everything that we did in class, ask questions if you need any help, and go ahead and finish this page up as well so that it can go in your journal. Thanks for watching.